What is up, family? It's Alpine Ascension. And I'm out here, out in the mountains, connecting with nature. And today I want to come on here and uh, talk about awakening your psychic gifts, awakening your psychic senses. And as we are going through this great shift, this great awakening on earth, our gifts are coming online. More and more people are awakening each day. And more gifts are coming online. Our DNA is being upgraded. Our DNA is becoming more crystalline, which we're moving from a carbon base in our body to a more crystalline base to where we can hold higher vibrational light into our body. And what that means is our body is becoming more attuned to the higher frequencies that are coming to the earth. The Christ consciousness returning to the earth, which is our planet, our solar system is going through the shift where we're moving through a part of the galaxy that's super high charge and frequency. And that is the Christ consciousness returning to the earth. And as these waves, these waves of energy are coming in, our bodies, our planet, and our very way of being is being transformed. And as you will notice, as you start to raise your vibration, but to raise your vibration first, you must need to let go of the things that are still holding you in this physical vibrational matrix all the things that are still being stored in here the darkness and all the old patterns and programming that you were raised with all the things that are not serving you anymore once you start doing the shadow work you start going within you start clearing these things i assure you that your psychic senses are going to be coming online your empathic abilities are gonna become tenfold, if not more. And you will become so vibrationally aligned that you won't even recognize the person that you were in the past. And these things might start coming on very, very subtly or very suddenly. You might start having visions, you might start um, to hear people's thoughts in your mind. That's, that's, been, that's one that's been going on for me lately, especially at work. And I'm around people at work and then I start having these thoughts coming in my mind and, uh, and then somebody will, will bring it up. Or I had one of my coworkers lately. He came up to me like, we play like rock, paper, scissors at work. And uh, he came up to me and did this guessing game. He's like, guess, guess the numbers that I'm thinking of. He, he said three numbers and I guessed all of them. And then he was like blown away. And then uh, he came up to me a second time and he actually wrote, it, wrote the number down in his hand. And he's like, he asked me what number I was thinking of and I guessed it. And then he was like, he was like blown away. But that was just... A random little synchronicity but you might be thinking about somebody and you'll and you'll have them call you or it's very important that we uh, we pay attention to what we're thinking of if somebody randomly pops into your mind that could be them thinking about you or sending you energy and uh, that's why it's so important that we, uh, we have psychic protection because not everybody is benevolent. And there are people that don't have the best, your best interest in mind. And there are entities that don't have your best interest in mind. And they will implant thoughts and emotions into your mind to trigger you to act out or to get you back into a certain pattern. That's why it's so important that one of, the, one of the most important things is connect with nature because nature grounds you. Nature is what we need to get back to with 
the Christ consciousness returning to the earth, we need to get back into nature because we are nature. We are part of nature and we have disconnected ourselves in this physical matrix. And we're all of us, all of us are always on our smartphones. We need to limit how, we need to be aware of how we're using these devices instead of having them use us because that is distracting us from the present moment where we can pick up on these messages. There's beings in higher realms, you can call them ETs, angels, whatever they are to you, and they're contacting us telepathically through our, our thoughts and emotions. And when we are distracted in these uh, physical realities and these thoughts, in these thought patterns and we're disconnected from nature in the present moment, we're not able to pick up these messages. We're not able to be guided by them to our highest frequency, to our highest, highest purpose. And that's why it's so important for us that we be mindful, we fast, we pray, we meditate, and we stay connected in our, in our being, our source, just the way like, like Christ taught us and so many other masters that were on this earth plane that taught us. We need to get back to that. Another thing that is, well, probably the most important thing is meditation. And there are different ways of, that you can meditate, but probably the most important for developing your psychic gifts and your clairvoyance is using your imagination. And you can do this by, with guided meditations, going on guided journeys, and this will stimulate your pineal gland. This will stimulate your psychic senses. And it'll help you to tap into that part of your mind, the right hemisphere of your brain, the promised land filled with milk, milk and honey, which is your pineal gland. And there was a passage in the Bible that uh, Jacob said, I believe, and he said, I have seen God face to face, and I call that place the pineal, which is your pineal gland, which secretes melatonin and serotonin. And it, and, uh, it has a function of creating DMT, which once you s cut out fluoride out of your system, you start to have a high frequency alkaline diet, that gland in your, in your brain is gonna decalcify and you're gonna to start to become a lot more in tune with yourself, with your energy body, with having clairvoyant visions and dreams, dreams that are so vivid and so real that it'll blow your mind. And your imagination, you can, you, you can uh, bring in light into your body, you can, Imagine light being shine onto your body. Imagine your light, your body absorbing the light and the light moving through your chakras, clearing out your chakras. There's different ways that you can do this. But even science has found that if we use our imagination, we immerse ourselves in our imagination, that our body secretes the same chemicals as if we were really having that experience because it can't tell the difference. It's the same thing with the placebo effect. You give somebody a sugar pill and tell them that it's gonna heal them and 90% of them get heal, they get healing from it because your mind is so powerful. And like same with me being a QHHT practitioner and working with deep levels of hypnosis I understand how powerful it is, how powerful the mind is and how it can heal you. Like the amazing things that it can do, it's breathtaking. And it's time for us to tap into this energy once more. And we need to be mindful of the things that we, we are giving our attention to, that we are giving our energy to without knowing it or knowing it because the time is now. People are awakening 
and things are happening that are revolutionizing the world. The time is now for us to awaken these gifts and to share them with the world. We all have a gift to share with the world. And it's up to you to find it within yourself, to tap into these higher dimensions and higher realities and return, return your birthright, claim your birthright, which is your psychic awareness and your gifts that are, that are latent within you. But all right, family, I love you. And you have a wonderful fucking night.